The major casualty, small business. From February 22nd to March 3rd of this year, the City of Toronto has issued over 150 graffiti removal notices in two BIAs alone, the West Queen West BIA and the Queen Street BIA. At the January 21st Municipal Standards Licensing Division meeting, the committee stated that the enforcement of the graffiti bylaw would only happen through complaints until the completion of a comprehensive and detailed report with input from all the parties involved was completed. However, according to Bruce Hawkins of the MLS, the enforcement of this bylaw has now become proactive. After talking to quite a few of the people and individuals have received the graffiti removal notices, it's obvious that there are two major groups. The first group being the businesses and building owners that have not solicited the graffiti that's on their premises. The major concern of this group is that after they pay for the cost of the removal of the graffiti, what plan does the city have in place to ensure that the graffiti is not going to come straight back up onto the wall? They cannot afford the cost of removing the graffiti every couple of weeks. The second group are the businesses and building owners that have solicited the graffiti or the mural that is on their premises. Their major concern is that if they own the private building, the city should not be telling them what's on it. They also state that the city has a mural program that offers up to $5,000 to allow you to put a mural on your building. Two major points for these individuals. The first being that if you receive a notice, you should realize that you have an option to appeal the amount of time to remove the graffiti from your premises. And the second important note for all of you is that if you believe it is a mural, you have the right to appeal that decision that made by the MLS to the community council, meaning the city council. And a quick update, on March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, so good luck to all you bars and restaurants, the MLS staff is holding an information session at City Hall, the second floor, committee room two, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Input for the A-frame, the sandwich boards.